Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's look you can see is very, very colorful. Today's look is inspired by the Unicorn Frappuccino. I guess it's a Frappuccino. I don't even know what it is because I didn't try it. But yeah, I decided to jump on the bandwagon, bandwagon of the Unicorn inspired makeup look. And I actually like how mine turned out considering I don't have a lot of colors. But I made it work and I love the way this turned out and I think it was pretty cool. I actually may go out with this. We'll see what I decide to do. But I hope you guys enjoy this video and if you want to see how I got this look, you know, you can just keep watching. Okay, so I don't really know how I'm going to do this look because... I don't have all the colors I need, I don't think. So I guess I'm gonna have to like kind of make it my own. Cause I want pink, blue, and purple. I don't have like any mattes with those, I don't think. I have matte purple. Okay, but anyways, I've already primed my eye and I'm just gonna get started here, I guess. Um, I do have this matte shade I'm probably gonna do. It's the single for color pop I'm probably just gonna use this but this is in the shade get out I have used it before and I absolutely love this it's like so creamy and it's smooth and I love it but yeah I might need to get a little magnetic palette but I'm just gonna be taking that on a blending brush and I'm going to be putting that in my crease These shades are very blendable and very buildable. I have noticed that. Um, with me, I normally go in a lot more because, like, if I want, like, a more, like, impacted kind of feel, I just, I keep adding and adding and adding. That's just me. But these shades are very buildable and blendable. That's my personal opinion. And I really like them. This was the first single that I got from ColourPop. And then I ordered these two. I have fallen in love with these and I'm planning on buying a lot, so. I'm just going to keep blending it out until there's like no harsh lines anywhere, so I'm just going to do that. I'm probably going to take this really, really bright pink. We're going to see how this turns out. So I've actually never used this color before, but I'm going to put that on the inner corner. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now I have all the pink, as you can tell, and I forgot, uh, I don't know if I said it, but I'm using my BH Cosmetics palette, but I actually, I was able to build on it, and it's actually the color that... I was wanting so I'm very happy about that now what I'm going to do I'm going to be taking my super shock shadows and I'm just going to be adding that as you can probably but I'm going to be taking sugar and I'm going to be applying that to the outer corner of my lid Okay, so I have the blue done on my eyes, and I'm actually going to make that a little bit darker. So now I'm going in with Hydroplane. Okay, so I finished the blue, and it's actually exactly what I was wanting with this color. And I actually took it on into my crease a little bit. I just did this just to bring it on in. And now what I'm going to do, I don't know if I'm wanting purple or what but I'm actually going to take my finger for this I'm taking this color pop shadow super shock shadow in bubbly and I'm just going to take that on my finger and I'm going to apply that to the inner corner of my lid okay so now I have all of the glitter part done but to make sure everything is blended I'm going to go back in with this really bright pink on my blending brush I'm just going to take that up through my crease and just make sure everything is blended. Okay, so now I have everything blended and I'm actually liking 
how this is turning out like for me not to have like really any colors it's going pretty good I guess you could say but now I'm actually going to start on my foundation and I don't know where my primer is hmm this is not good okay so obviously I don't have any primer I don't know where my primer went but I guess I'm just gonna make it work But for foundation, I'm going to be going back in with my L'Oreal Paris 24 Hour Foundation and the Infallible Pro Glow. I actually love this foundation. And I'm going to be going back in with this Real Techniques brush. I used it yesterday and actually, I kind of liked it. And now I'm just going to be buffing that all over my face. Okay, so I have finished my foundation and I'm going to be moving on to concealer. For concealer, I'm going to be using my Maybelline Master Conceal. I'm going to be blending that in with my Oral Techniques sponge. Okay, so now I'm going to bake my face with my powder. I cannot remember the name of it. I will list it below because I don't know but okay so for bronzer I'm going to be going in with my wet and wild bronzer and my elf brush I forgot the name of it but I know you can get it at your local drugstore or Walmart that's where I got it and I was unsure if I liked this bronzer I still am I'm still giving it a tr giving it a try um I just, I can't make up my mind whether I like it or not, but I'm just going to give it another try. For blush, I'm going to be going in with my Milani Baked Blush in Illuminoso. This, guys, please get this blush. Like, this is my favorite color blush from Milani, and it's amazing, like... And for highlight, I'm going to be going in with my Sun Dip Palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And we're really going to put the glow on the face. Like, we just start for this look. So, first, I'm going to see if I need any more. But I'm going to go in with Summer. And I'm just going to apply that to the tops of my cheeks. Now I'm going to start working on the lower lash line and I'm going back in with my BH Cosmetics palette. And I'm going to try the pink first before I actually go in with purple and see if I like it. But I'm taking it on a flat end brush. Okay, so now I am going to go in with the purple shade Get Out from ColourPop. And I'm going to apply that also on my lower lash line. Now I'm going to go in with my ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in Hydroplane. And we're going to see how this goes, but I'm going to apply that about halfway right here. And now I'm going to take my pink shade in Bubbly and I'm going to apply that closest to my inner corner. Now for my inner corner highlight, I'm going to be taking my Saharan palette and I'm going to be applying this white shade to the inner corner of my eye. Now for lashes, I'm going to be going in with my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I actually do like this. This is the travel, but I don't know if I like it enough to buy the full size. But we're going to be using this today for our lashes. Okay, so I have my lashes done. And I can just say I love the way this eye look turned out. Like, for me not to have really, like, any, like, colorful colors, I really like how I got to just play with what I had and just actually I really really like it but now we're going to move on to lips and I don't know I want like a bright pink I think I'm thinking let's go big with bright pink okay so I'm going to take Mars from color pop cosmetics this is the ultra matte lip Okay, so I have my lipstick applied and I actually like the color. I'm actually waiting for it to dry because I want to put a little shine on the center 
So once it dries, I'm going to put that. Now this is my finished look. And if you enjoyed watching me get this unicorn inspired look, just leave a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe before you leave. And you can comment anything down below. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video so much. I love you guys so much. Bye.